Hello and welcome back to Survival Existence. This is Bobby here with you. I'm here today with a uh, power converter, one that's actually suitable for your cigarette plug in your car, truck, or whatever you have. This particular charger has a pivoting head, so regardless of where your cigarette lighter is located, whether it's in the dashboard or on the console, you can uh, pivot the head wherever you need it to make it most convenient for using the power. This particular converter has a 110 volt outlet and also a USB connector. Uh, it has a maximum of 160 peak watts. Uh, not really designed for drawing that constantly, but for short periods it should be alright. And most cigarette lighters at most can produce 160 watts before it blows its fuse. And of course you don't want to do that. If you'll remember the uh, video I did about converting your car or your vehicle into a generator, that was the very reason why you didn't use a cigarette plug on that particular converter. It was capable of drawing far more power than a cigarette lighter it is able to produce. That particular inverter was capable of pulling 610 watts from the battery and converting it to uh, AC power to power some items around your house. Uh, once you exceeded around 150 to 160 watts it would have blown the fuse in your car which that wouldn't be nice. But at any rate this one is designed so that for people like myself and I'm sure some of you that are on the go constantly, you can actually run your laptop or tablet from uh, your vehicle. You can also charge phones if you so desire. There's so many phone chargers out there, I certainly wouldn't buy this item for charging a phone, but nonetheless there is a USB connector on it. Let's take a little bit closer look at this. This particular inverter has 110 watt, or I'm sorry, it has a uh, 110 plug and also the USB connector in it. Uh, plenty of power to run your laptop or tablet, whatever you want to uh, run on it within reason as long as it doesn't pull any more than 160 watts. There again, it is limited. You're not going to run a coffee pot or, or a microwave or anything like that. There are larger inverters that will handle that, although coffee pots with a heating element are highly inefficient to try to run one on and as a matter of fact a coffee pot pulls entirely too many watts. <laughs> Simply there are easier ways to make coffee although very convenient inside the house if you're having to produce your own power that's not something you'd want to do. I just thought you might like to see something like that for those of you that are on the go. It's, uh, it's a very good item. And as always, come visit us on Facebook. Check out our website at survivalexistence.com and please subscribe to us. That little button up the top. That's right. There you go. We'll see you. Have a good day.